What's up, Chiefs Kingdom? Welcome into the Chiefs Report by Chat Sports. I am Harrison Graham. Kadarius Tony has spoken to reporters for the first time since joining the Chiefs. We'll talk about that. Get thoughts from Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid as well. Let's get straight into it here. Here's Kadarius Tony on just getting traded. He said he was shocked. Kind of shocked, he said. I'm just looking forward to develop the opportunity. Feels good to be wanted by a team. I just wanted to come in and do what's asked. I'm very eager to go out there and be the player that I am. And Kadarius Tony certainly understanding that he's getting a fresh start here with the Chiefs after things did not go to plan in New York. Only played in 12 games over the past year and a half with the Giants. If you missed the trade details, it's a compensatory third-round pick. The one the Chiefs get for Ryan Poles uh, getting the GM job in Chicago and a sixth-round pick as well for Kadarius Tony. Before we give more thoughts on Tony and what this could look like for him, are you surprised the Chiefs traded for him? Type Y for yes, type in for no. Certainly things uh, did not go to plan for the former first rounder in New York, and uh, we'll see uh, what he's able to do. But I think there's got to be some level of surprise. Type Y for yes, in for no. Curious to see where you guys land. Now, Jordan Foote, who covers the Chiefs, uh, uh, tweeted this out, something that Mahomes said earlier today. Patrick Mahomes said he was approached by Kadarius Tony uh, about Kadarius Tony by GM Brett Veach way back in the offseason. There's been reports that Brett Veach has been keeping an eye on Tony for quite a while. Here's what Mahomes had to say on acquiring Tony. He says he's super excited. You could tell how much he's ready to get out there and play, that being about Tony. We're excited to see what he can do in this offense. Also talked about how fast he is and said that he's even bigger than he thought he was initially as well. Then you've got this, Andy Reid saying, courtesy of Pete Sweeney, the Chiefs plan to work in Kadarius Toney, and what makes it more possible is that he was with former Chiefs quarterback coach Mike Kafka, now the offensive coordinator of the Giants. He has a foundation for the terminology. I think Kadarius Toney plays on Sunday. I don't know how much he'll play, but uh, he talked about the excitement of possibly being the punt returner. I would like to see that. I told you guys that Sky Moore has – been muffing punts and hasn't been that explosive when he's caught him anyway. I'd like to see Tony back there on those, and I think he'll get some opportunities within the offense. It'll certainly take a few weeks to, you know, get up to full speed and uh, have a, uh, you know, a bigger part of the offense, but I do think he'll be active. I do think he'll play. They seem excited about him. I'm excited about him, and hey, he's, he's, he's explosive, man. Now, hopefully he can get uh, the most out of this second chance uh, because, like I said, things did not go great up in New York. Well, if you want to get a plot of land in Scotland, you could do so with established titles and become a lord like yours truly. I'm now Lord Harrison Graham. If you missed our videos yesterday, new sponsored here with established titles. Established titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. You see all the trees there in this clip here. It's a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds, lords, and ladies in English. Title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, and you get an official certificate with a crest as well. They plant a tree with every single order, again, very eco-friendly there, and work with global charities, one tree planted, and trees for the future to support those reforestation efforts that we previously mentioned. And hey, you can add that title that you get once you buy this purchase of land with established titles, whether you're a lord or lady, add that to your dating profile, your credit card, uh, uh, when you get plane tickets, hey, you might even get into first class. It's like, oh, Lord Harrison Graham, this person must be important. We're going to elevate him into first class, and it's a perfect holiday gift. Save 10% off, and hey, first 200 people that use our code chat at establishedtitles.com slash chat, your plot of land will be within walking distance of mine, and we can create our Chiefs Report Kingdom out in Scotland. Hey, who knows? Maybe we get to visit our land someday. Establishedtitles.com slash chat code chat to get 10% off this holiday season. Become a lord or a lady today. All right, uh, how about Lucas Niang? Haven't thought about him in a while, huh? Coming off that torn patellar tendon, could he be returning soon? Sounds like it. Chiefs have started Niang's 21-day practice windows. He remains on the pup list, which is where he's been since training camp. Andy Reid said that Niang has worked hard. He's back in. We'll see how he does. Uh, these guys uh, have to come, or that come back off of these long stints off. We'll see how they do on the field before we throw them in there. He also talked about Blake Bell potentially returning soon. Uh, getting Niang would be, or getting him back would be big. Uh, I think it'd be really, really big, especially if he got back and healthy and 
gave the Chiefs a legitimate option to upgrade at right tackle. And listen, I like Andrew Wiley. He's been a serviceable player there, but Lucas Niang, when fully healthy, it's just an upgrade. Former third-round pick. I thought he was finding his groove last year before uh, he uh, – has suffered this major injury. You plug him in there, and Andrew Wiley kind of becomes that number six lineman that can come in and play guard or tackle, uh, depending on who goes down. I think a healthy Lucas Nian gives you the best chance at right tackle uh, to have uh, the best uh, lineman over there. So I'll be very curious to see how this plays out. Now, torn patellar tendon is serious, so let's see how the practices go. Even if he gets activated to the 53, man, I would probably guess at first they'll stick with Andrew Wiley, but having the option to go to Niang, and if they feel like he's fully up to speed here in a few weeks, maybe uh, he gets in there and we get to see uh, if he's back, uh, you know, kind of picking up where he left off. Now, who do you think is the better option at right tackle? Type LN for Lucas Niang or AW for Andrew Wiley? I mean, at this exact moment, it's Wiley, but again, if Niang is fully healthy, his talent and ability is just better. I don't I don't think there's any question about that. So I'm going to type my L in for Lucas Niang. Let me know where you guys fall on this one. Now, I don't think he'll be ready and activated on Sunday, but you know who will be? We'll be ready to go. We'll be live for a Chiefs versus Titans Saturday Night Football Watch Party this Sunday, 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Central Time. So be sure to subscribe and join us. Kick off at 720 Uh Central time will be live probably about seven, maybe a few minutes earlier. You just never know. So subscribe, turn on those notifications. We'll have a live scoreboard. I'll provide play-by-play. -play. We'll have a couple of drinks. It will be fun. First game coming off of the bye week. All right, we've explored this a few times. Let's hit it again. Could the Chiefs sign Odell Beckham Jr.? The Chiefs now have about $4 million, maybe even a little bit more than $4 million, uh, after they traded cornerback Rashad Fenton. Could they sign OBJ? Maybe. I definitely – Definitely think he, it is a possibility. Now, there is a report out there uh, that uh, despite trading for Kadarius Toney, the Chiefs w uh, still do have interest in OBJ. That has not eliminated the possibility of that relationship coming together uh, whatsoever. And OBJ played well for the Rams last year. I thought he helped them big time in the playoffs especially, but even down the stretch, five of, all five of his touchdowns were with the Rams last season and with the Rams playing the way they are right now I don't think they they should be considered the favorites for Beckham he wants to come play for a contender and basically my overarching thoughts on this is Odo Beckham Jr. is not a need for the Chiefs they have a lot of receivers but it would be fun and you can never have enough weapons and if he wants to win another ring Kansas City gives him a damn good place uh, to have a chance in doing that so I don't know I'm still interested I don't know exactly what his role would be. It, it kind of becomes a crowded wide receiver room. It already is. Uh, but OBJ showed last year he could still be very, very good. Maybe not a true number one, but for sure a number two. I'm still a big fan of his. Uh, I think he's going to sign soon somewhere now that the trade deadline is over. I don't think he's quite yet 100%, but maybe by December 1st he is. We'll have to wait and see on that front. But uh, I think the Chiefs will be in the mix uh, when he does decide to pick a team. Now, will the Chiefs end up signing him? Will they do it? Type S for sign, P for pass. I would guess not. I'd guess P for pass because there's 32 teams, uh, and, you know, probably eight to ten teams will be in the mix here. And, you know, maybe he looks at this like, ah, oh, they just added Kadarius Tony. There's no room for me there. But sounds like the Chiefs are still interested. I would certainly try to do it. S for sign, P for pass. Predict what's going to happen down in the comments. Appreciate everybody for tuning in to today's Chiefs report. If you have any questions or uh, just want to follow along with other stuff that I'm doing, give me a follow on Twitter. It's at HGramNFL. More Chiefs and NFL tweets over there. DMs are open if you want to message me about the Chiefs also. Feel free to do so. I am Harrison Graham, and we will see you next time here on the Chiefs report.